So this is a LinkedIn session. I'm going to keep it really brief. I'm going to show you how you can keep an eye on your prospects and know when they're ready to buy without ever cold pitching them. So this is a strategy. And if you watch it to the end, you will never have to cold pitch on LinkedIn ever again, ever again. But you will know exactly who's interested in what you've got to offer. So if you bear with me, I'll show you it completely free. What's the catch here? Uh, there is no catch. I'm going to show you this start to finish. But what I would like is if you've got value from this, come find me on Facebook, find me on LinkedIn, connect with me, stay around my world because I'll share other stuff that may be interesting. And maybe you never know, you might get tempted to buy something. So that's the only catch I'm asking. If you get value from this session that I'm going to show you quickly, come find me, stay around me so that if you want to be a customer in the future, you're there. Right, so I'm going to show you something really quick you can do on LinkedIn. So, so simple, and it will help you find people. What people are doing on LinkedIn at the moment is they send a connection request and try and pitch people. It does not work, really does not work. So I'm going to show you a way where you can find out who's interested before you ever, so you never have to send a sales pitch. Now, you may know about these features, you may know how it works, but... Uh, you'll have never seen it put together like this before, and it will uh, amaze you the way you do it. So here we go. I'm going to go to LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And if you've seen this feature, bear with me because I'm going to show you how to make this work really well. So if you get Sales Navigator Teams, you get this thing called Smart Links. With Smart Links, you can create a PDF presentation or a link to a website or a YouTube video. Uh, you can upload it so that it tracks who's seen what you've put up. So I made a smart link of this webinar here. I'll just show you what it looks like. I previewed it. So it's a, an embedded YouTube video and everybody who looks, everybody who looks at that video, I can go in, look at the analytics and I can see who's looked and for how long. So literally I can see who's looked and how long. So I can put content out, not every day, uh, another session I'll show you about how to make content that hooks clients. But every day or every other day or, you know, once a week, something like that, you can put out content. And I use free tools, uh, free information, share it and see who's looking and how long so that I can follow up on the people who are really interested. So this is smart link. So I've got a book here that I've given away free, how to generate leads on LinkedIn. I can look at the analytics and I can see who's looked for how long and literally follow up on the people who've looked for a particular length of time based on how big my content is. So if somebody's looked for three minutes, that's great. If somebody's looked for four seconds, not so great. But it really depends on the, the type of smart link that you're using. If I use a long smart link and I get a, a reasonable amount of time, that's good. If I use a small, short smart link, I'm looking for something more than four seconds. So you may know about this. You may know about this. But now I'm going to show you how you can use it in a slightly different way. So what you do is you create a smart link, which is either a PDF or a video or a YouTube video linked in. That's um, a key pain point of your customer. So how to generate leads on LinkedIn is a pain point for some small businesses. And I share this smart link with people who I think are small businesses. So how do I do that? So what you might be doing is sending connection requests and then sending up a follow up message introducing who you are. Guess what I do? I send a, a connection request. I'm not going to pitch you. I don't pitch people. And then I thank them for connecting and go kind regards, Dean. And then in the foot, I put free download how to generate leads on LinkedIn. And I put the smart link in the connection rate. No sales pitch, just a little guide, download, offering them the download if they're interested and move on. I then keep track of all of the people who've looked at that smart link. And from that, I can understand who's interested and who's not. And then I use a seven step process that I've written myself about how to nurture them to a conversation where they're keen and ready to buy. So I never, ever cold pitch somebody and I never pitch somebody who's not interested. I use a seven step nurturing process to bring them to the boil for want of a word so that we can have a meaningful conversation where they know they need help 
and I know I can help them. It's very, very simple. It takes all the objections out of the process because I'm qualifying people at connection stage, not trying to test them with a waffly sales pitch or buy my stuff message on LinkedIn. All the people who've connected that don't look, I nurture them too, but I take priority on the people who've looked and paid attention to what I'm offering. So let me show you something else you can do with this smart link. So in addition to this, what you can do is you can cross platform them. So here I am on my Facebook. If I go to one of my pages, cause I put it on my page earlier, just as an example, I've actually filmed this video twice cause the audio went out of sync. I go onto my Facebook page and look, I've shared my live, my live training replay on my Facebook page. So when people click through, they get to see it, but they get to see it via a smart link. So I know who's looked. If you're feeling really brave, and I'm not the ads person here, but you could promote this post. So you could promote the post. And even if they don't buy, you know who's interested. Really, really simple. So instead of thinking about SmartLink as something you should use to follow up with a proposal, use it to test the intent and interest of your customers or prospects in the thank you message that you send when you connect with them. Don't sell them. Offer them a pain point centric lead magnet a pain point centric document or video. And if they've got that pain, they'll look. And then you know you can follow up with them based on that pain and it will make a huge difference to your um, strategy on LinkedIn. So you don't waste time chasing people who are not interested. You just follow the people who are biting, or biting on the pain point that you're sharing and putting out there. So that's it. You may have known smart links, but you've never thought how to use them. This is a brilliant way to use them. I'm going to uh, ask you for one favor. Come find me on Facebook, Dean Seddon. Find me on LinkedIn. Connect with me, but put a little message so I know you've seen this video um, so that I know who you are. I'm not going to cold pitch you. Um, I will put my content out there and this is where I work. I put my stuff out and if you're interested, you'll bite. And if you're not, you won't. But you may get a load of free value from just being around me. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, my links and everything's down here. There's a course link there if you want to buy a course. But um, go do it. Just go do it and try it. It will work. Find your pain point. Find your most valuable pain point and just go do it.